All right, let's talk a bit about um, working with queries and feature layers and the layer view, uh, which is key. So if we look at this particular layer here. This is the um, my US uh, places and names layer. Uh, we can see that we have a field state. Let me make sure that's the actual field name, not alias. Yeah, it's state and uh, you know, Colorado, Arizona. Uh, so two uh, two letter abbreviations for the states in here, right? And there are different classes too. I'm not going to worry about the classes. I'm going to for this uh, example, I'll just focus on the state name, right? So if we come over here, uh, you can do queries a couple of different ways. So let's say for example, I do a view dot when, and this just tells me that the the view is done doing whatever it needs to do. Uh, I want to query uh, for all of the uh, name places are in California, for example. So let's zoom out a little bit here. Okay, so we got a oh, we got a nice little chunk going on. You got Arizona in here. I want to query just ones in California. Here, so what I can do is I can create a query object. Query from here. Where dot create query and I'm going to give it a, a where clause so query dot where is going to be equal to state is equal to CA number patient yeah that's right I got to do the little strings there on that thing okay okay uh so now what I can do is I can simply do something like um let me open up console here that up. Uh, I can do a query here. So I will lazy. make this an async call. This way I can do something like this. Let's do a const uh, for our features is equal to a weight layer query, not query, query. Oh, uh, query. And that's just a console dot log features dot thing. What happens? That work? I have an error. Let's see. Layer is not defined. Of course, layer is not defined. Let's close that console and do this one. Here's not defined. Someday I'm going to learn how to spell. There we go. 2000. So we're actually hit with a, a hard limit on the server of the number of features it's going to return from the service, which is the 2000 limit. That's like the uh, standard from online. Um, I could paginate through those results and I can say, you know what? If I hit the query limit, true, then let's go ahead and do the next page and so on and so forth. Yeah, you know, that's fine, whatever. Um, however, I mean, I do know that uh, I've got more features than that in here. Actually, let me do this based on a button because this is kind of uh, annoying. I want this on a button click, not on a, a view.when. So let me go in here and do a um, button. Uh, call it filter. Give us an ID. Button filter. All right. So let's uh, comment this real quick. Let's go ahead and do this. I think I can just do this. Actually, I, I need the button anyways. Let's do const. And this equals document element by ID. Yeah. Button filter. And let's go and add it. View dot y dot add button pop.
Boom. Filter. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll do it on a button click. I knew I spelled that wrong. You know, I'm trying not to make the camera move by clicking. Sorry about that. Okay, so when this happens, we're going to do this. Right that. What did I do? Oh. That. Boom. There we go. Clear that out there. Oh, wait. oh, sorry. Boom. There we go. Magic. And we hit our 2,000 limit still. Okay, so at least now it's on button click. Um, but I want to point that out because if I if I zoom out like here, all right, and I'm California, Arizona here, and I do filter, I still get a 2,000 limit because I'm asking the server for the results when why I've got all my results right here on the map. So let's just go ahead and do a um, client side query, right? So let's adjust this a little bit. I'm still gonna create the query for my layer and I'll still do this. However, what I'll do here is I'm gonna say, now I'm gonna say, let's call it L view is gonna be equal to await view dot when layer view layer. Um, there is something I need to do here. Uh, okay, let's do this. Do Esri for watch utils. Because I need to make sure that I can actually start using the layer view. Um, uh, when all once. I think this will work. Because I'm in the click event. Well, yeah, because I'm going to click event button. May not need that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so now I'm going to do a wait. When false once. L view. Updating. Updating. Is that right? So I'm, let me query the layer real quick. See what it does. Okay, so that's still fire. So the, the view is done drawing, uh, except I'm I'm querying the layer. So now all I can do is let's query layer view. Uh, so we've had two thousand up to this point. Let me zoom out. Make sure I have more than two thousand. And boom. Okay, so I'm still getting zero when I do a, a query of the layer view, right? There's no results because to draw the map, I'm not using the state field. The, the rendering is based off of like a couple of arcade expressions based on the name of the places and stuff. State field never used. So it's not brought over with the data. So it's not in the layer view. So I can't query on that field. But I could come over here to where I create the layer and add it to the outfields. So especially because I'm working with a, a large amount of data, there's like 2.2 million features in this layer. I don't want to just do a star. I, I don't want to do that. Don't, don't do that. If you can avoid this for your outfields, avoid it because it's too much data most likely coming down the wire. The API is smart enough to know what fields to ask for just um, so it can actually draw the layer. And then uh, when you click on a pop-up, it'll go ahead and dynamically um, fetch the, the fields it needs for the pop-up and stuff. So I know I only need state, so I'm only gonna ask for the state field. All right, so let's do that. Let me zoom out. I don't think it'll be that much slower. I'm only asking for one extra field. 
don't think I'll impact it too much. Uh, so the layer view is still working, still drawn. So if I click this, uh, it should wait. So everything's done. Let's wait. 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 I'm still waiting. Still waiting. Right there. Wait, no. Darn it. Okay. Hold on. Okay, let's try it now. So I'm waiting. Querying the data on the client side. There we go. I've got 121,000 features currently on the client that are in the state of California. Uh, so let's go ahead and do something kind of cool with this. Instead of querying the layer, let's go and apply a filter to this, right? So I'm gonna do this here. So, all right, let's create, let's gonna copy this. All right, let's come over here. So let's get rid of that. Let's do L view dot. Effect. All right. No, no. Yeah. Effect is equal to. Um. Does he have this effect again? So a filter, and the filter is going to have a uh, a where, right? So let's come over here. So filter. And let me just do this. Where give me equal to my query dot where because I'm already here. Um, double check because I always forget. Yeah, okay. So after the filter is when I get the excluded effect. All right, so that means it's going to apply this effect for the grayscale and some opacity for everything that is not a match to my filter. So let's do uh, California here. Give it a second for things to load. Let's go ahead and apply it. And there you go. Super fast, right? Look at that. So now, now I am focused on the features that are in the state of California and nothing else. And you could do it as an included effect, right? So uh, maybe like this. And I wouldn't use grayscale. Maybe I'd do something else ridiculous with it. Let's zoom out. And uh, I have my query saying state of California, and then everything else, you know, it's in, uh, that's the included effect, and then everything else doesn't get any impact at all. Super awesome, easy way to do it. I hate saying easy. Um, I mean, programming is anything really easy. Uh, this JavaScript, uh, so it'll kick in the face anyway. So there you go. That's how you can do queries on the layer, on the layer view, and then use uh, cool um, features, feature effect, and filters in your in your apps to get these nice looking visualizations.